Hi guys, today I'm gonna do a video on my new outboard motor stand. As you can see, this is a engine stand that I modified to outboard. I have pretty much all the tools that I need to work over here. Take a look guys, pretty much everything is here. Uh, I have a measuring tape that I'm going to give you some dimensions. If you decide to replicate the same stand, so here you can see it's 20 inches. Okay, by 17, and of course, this part up front is also 20 inches and it's high 10 inches. And it's a thick two inches. This is a plywood. I have three of this one combined with screws and bolts over here, and they're connected directly to the mount of the stent. Okay, the little working area, it's a little thinner plywood, it's not that thick like this one. I have two supports, one here and one here. This is from Home Depot. And I left this part that is hanging out. So I have this pipe over here. This is the pipe that I'm using when I pull the magnetus, so technically this pipe goes here to hold the puller on this side I have the two here I have the spark plug remover I have the uh, different screwdrivers I have a couple of tools over here magnets, a little knife on this side I have all of these screwdrivers. Here, these more tools are coming from here. Uh, this one, it's a little box, a husky box, that I have a bunch of tools inside. All of this is made from plywood. This is the puller that I'm talking about, bolts. Here, this is another little box for the compression tester and this is the zip ties over here I have a, a few different clamps I'm sure you're familiar with this one and this one and this one too okay and right over here I have my drill and this clamp it is, if I'm not mistaken, 2 inch clamp for um, electrical pipes or something like this. I can't remember. Okay. So, trays. This is for the bolts. And that's when I remove, uh, when I work on the carburetors. It's a magnet tray with a little screw underneath. So it's permanently attached. To the stand on this side I'm using it for tools this side for bolts some of you you guys are going to ask me why I have this blue tape uh, the tape is because I'm here in Arizona and the reflections are really strong from the shiny tray so I decide to to have the tape to prevent any reflections directly to my eyes maybe you don't need it it's up to you if you want to do something you may use a different uh, tape or any sticker or whatever okay now to attach the motor 
I have to completely unscrew the holder. And here is the tricky part. This it's really short. Let me measure it. Give me a second. Let me get the measuring tape. Okay, we're talking for three inches, maybe a little over. This part is really short, so when I load the motor here, those two parts are hitting the table. You can see the marks over here. All of this is marks from this. And sometimes it's kind of hard to hang the motor directly over because this is on the way. So what I do, I try to keep these parts flat. Some motors, they have this one move free. Some of these are kind of nice like this and they don't move that much free. Sometimes I can use a zip tie to have those two in a flat position when I'm loading the motor. Sometimes they just stay nicely like this. Other than this, there is no another problem. Uh, the stent, I'm sure the stent can hold uh, probably up to a hundred horsepower motor. This is important. This stent is made for heavy motors. And of course there is a plenty of room to work here with the impeller. When I clean the engine, I have a tray underneath to collect all the dirt and garbage that coming out from the motor. It's easy to drain the oil. It's easy to replace the oil with this tent. And I believe probably for no very bigger engines, I can start the motor directly over the stent with a little bucket underneath. Up to this moment, uh, I haven't done this one, but I'm sure it's going to work. Here's something else that I missed. Here, this is the air blower, the compressor that I clean the carburetors. Of course, as you can see, I have a regulator here. This is important. Sometimes I do a carburetor test with extremely low pressure just to check the floater, how the, flo uh, the floater is going to close and how the floater is going to perform. But I'm repeating myself, extremely low pressure. If you do it in a high pressure, you can hurt yourself. Okay. So pretty much that's it. Oh, I missed this part. This is important. Okay. Here you can take a look guys. Let me grab the clamp from here. Okay, so this is the clamp. I have a one clamp here. You can see the mark that I have a second clamp right over here. I'll do some pictures. And I have the lower unit here sitting. Let me get the clamp for this side and I'll get one lower unit to show you how nice this is work for me. Okay, so here is the second clamp. It's solid. And this is the six horsepower lower unit. I can slide it over here and I can work. Extra room. For tools, parts, everything. So now I'm gonna have a 15 horsepower. Let me switch them. This is a 15 horsepower lower unit. Also very solid. Plenty of room for work, as you can see, guys. And I believe this is a good combination. I wanna hear your comments what do you think about this outboard motor stand um, if you have any ideas if you want to give me some ideas I'm okay with this I'm sure with the time I will modify it I will add some tools or maybe take off some of them we'll see but pretty much it's going to be like that it's very easy to push around it is solid, I don't have to worry for tipping it over or 
anything that can cause any damage to the motor so for me this it's a good working stand what I'm going to do with my older stand I'm sure you're familiar with this I will definitely keep the older one I will definitely still use the older one uh, you're gonna see the pictures if you're not familiar I will touch some pictures but I'm definitely going to use this one more often the new one thank you for watching the videos guys I appreciate that you're subscribing to my channel I will do my best to share more information for outboard motors uh, for my working stand for the Opel GT for motorcycles ATVs and generators and other equipment if you have any questions or if you have any comments please let me know I'll be happy to answer all the questions thank you very much and have a nice day bye bye